Hello, welcome to this short video on OCI observability and monitoring. This time we'll be focusing on OCI logging analytics and the value add that it brings to the game. So the previous video we looked at OCI logging and what the insight it gives us into our OIC instances. Now, via a service connector, I can send the data from OCI logging that I've received from OIC onto OCI logging analytics. So it's very, very simple to create what's known as a service connector. You're saying the source, which is the logging, and then you specify which log files you want to send there. And then you say, what's the target? So in my case, the target here is logging analytics. So I could put in some tasks as um, you know, further filtering, but I'm just saying here, just send all of the logs that you get from OIC onto logging analytics. So what does logging analytics give me? Well, the logging analytics team have released three um, OIC related dashboards, which are ready for you to use. So out of the box dashboard, giving you a view of your OIC instances. Now, this is the key here is the word instances, because we're talking here about fleet management. As you can see here, I'm looking at four OIC environments here. And in the period that I'm looking at here, I've had 26 integrations, but you see 219,000 flows from those 26 integrations. You can see how many are in the error hospital, et cetera, et cetera. And because of my poor screen resolution here, or high screen or low screen resolution here, yeah, these are the ones in the error hospital. You can see which environment is where the most, you know, where is the most work happening? And you see it's happening on this particular OIC instance. And as you see, the OIC instance here is identified by the OSIT. You can see breakdown by um, integration ID. So you see here, which are my most um, used integrations, so to speak. Here, these are coming from the service metrics we met in an earlier video, you know, number of uh, inbound requests, inbound request processing time, et cetera, et cetera. Now, new widgets here for us are this, for example, this uh, potential issues. So potential issues is something that logging analytics gives us. It's an intelligent parsing of the, uh, of the log files, checking for keywords such as errors, warnings, and so on, and also looking for outliers. You know, like if events that have only happened once from a logging perspective. And these can be key in helping you uh, isolate errors or isolate, uh, as I say here, potential issues. Now, again, as in the other, like the service metrics dashboards we met, we can, of course, here drill down. So I can, for example, here drill down. Let's take this one here. Um, and you can see. And here we're in the Logging Analytics Log Explorer. Now the Log Explorer has its own syntax here, its query language, very, very easy to learn. Just check out the documentation for that. And of course, you can, of course, um, change these, you know, change the query, and then you could, of course, save the query as a new widget and include it in your existing dashboard or put it into a new uh, dashboard. You can, of course, copy the query URL and work on it in a, a different editor or whatever. And you can see here, these are the fields that you can use to create your queries and so on. So very easy is just to drag and drop the fields here and that will automatically create the query for you or else you start off with the query and just add maybe a where clause to it or whatever. And then you can see here the different visualizations that are available for you here. Um, the cluster analysis, the links and um, issues, potential issues that we've already seen. So we have loads of different visualizations available to you here. And as I say, the query language is relatively simple. Check out the documentation for that. Now, I mentioned that we have three dashboards out of the box. Now, that was the uh, first one there. Now, the dashboards are the health overview, the key metrics, and the time taken analysis. And as you can see here, I have created a copy of the health overview and just renamed it fleet management. So it's very easy to take these out of the box dashboards, duplicate them, and then edit the duplicate to suit your particular needs, which I did in this case. All I actually did was actually give it a, a new title, but as you've seen, I can go in, edit the widgets, edit the queries, et cetera, et cetera. Now let's look at the 
uh, the key metrics. So now the key metrics are, of course, based on the service metrics that we've met earlier. And as you can see here, where um, they're appearing here for us. And what's very, very nice about this, of course, is it's called, it, we are doing kind of, kind of fleet management here. We are able to filter on the different resources. So I can filter on the four um, OIC environments that we have. You see this one here, this is a Gen 2 instance, and these are my three Gen 3 instances here. So I can filter on OCI environment. So I have the fleet view, and then I can drill down into a particular OIC instance, or else I can drill down into a particular integration. So the dashboards then uh, change according to what I've actually filtered up here. So I think this is key for many customers who have multiple OIC instances and you know who are missing that final piece in the jigsaw you know, from a monitoring perspective. OIC instance monitoring or observability is very comprehensive, but it is at the OIC instance level. Here, we're getting fleet monitoring. So now we've met the, the key metrics as well. We can go back to the final dashboard here. And the final dashboard is the time taken analysis. So the time taken analysis given us an overview of the time it has taken for, to execute particular integrations over a period of time. Now this, let's uh, just wait for this to appear. And this is very, very useful as well, that you can see your peaks and your troughs, and you can see the difference in the execution times between those peaks and troughs. So here you can see, and the bubbles here, you can see the time taken, sometimes it's just you know zero to 15 seconds, et cetera, et cetera. But the bigger the bubbles, of course, the larger the time, um, the time uh, consumed there. And this is very, very interesting for, um, especially if you've got integrations with, uh, uh, you know, as, as stringent SLAs that they have to execute within a certain period of time from a business perspective. This gives you um, a head start in identifying any potential bottlenecks there. So again, these three dashboards are available to you out of the box with OCI Logging Analytics. It's very easy to get that log information from OCI Logging to Logging Analytics via the service connectors. So there's nothing stopping you adopting this great technology. Thank you very much.